Well, you know, I, I spent the first 12 years of my career sitting next to Roland Emmerich, yeah. you know, making movies with him. And some of the most fun times of my life was making those films. So, you know, to be given the opportunity to do one myself, mm -hmm. it was kind of shocking. <laughs> I think a lot of people were shocked when they found out they were actually going to let me direct this picture. Um, but I'm, I'm very grateful and humbled that they gave me the opportunity. You know, a lot of the times you're spending, you know, you're directing your, your cast, but there's so many effects in there. You're, you're kind of in another space for that, aren't you? To some degree, but you know, there's so many tools today that we didn't have before. You know, you, when I was starting out, there, uh, you, you'd have a tennis ball on the end of a stick and then you have to explain to the actors what they're looking at. Today, we actually have technologies where we can digitally attach, whether it's animation or a set, to the set you're shooting at and put it on the monitors and the actors can walk over and go, oh, I see what it's gonna look like. Yeah. And it's a, it's a big help and it's a big help in editorial, it's a big help for composition. So yeah, it, it's a bigger toys for grown-up boys. Yeah, and your timing for releasing this, I noticed, uh, is, is actually pretty good because <laughs> we've just come through this um, season with lots of you know, climate disasters, you know? So it's on, it's on people's minds. Well, look, uh, there are real human beings who are going through horrific situations right now because of extreme weather. Mm -hmm. And in no way do I want to make light of that or exploit that. This is a big popcorn fun movie. Mm -hmm. And it's about unnatural disasters, not natural disasters. <clears throat> that said, I do think that the underlying message of the movie has never been more relevant. Now, Without you know talking too much about the plot, but the the fact is you got uh, in the movie, you kind of intercept weather, and is that something you looked into when you were writing this when the script was you know being developed? What where are they on that? Is that something that they're thinking about? Well, there there's a whole science called geoengineering, mm -hmm. and that's exactly what they're trying to do. They're trying to figure out is there a technical way to combat global warming, and and all types of, of methodologies are being developed. Mm -hmm. But it's complicated. It, there, there are moral issues about should we do it? What types of unintended circumstances, you know, consequences will happen if we use these things? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you know, there's all these conspiracy theories that we've been doing it with chemtrails and stuff. So, so it, 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 it's a complex thought. Um, but we are remarkable people. And when faced with adversity, we make breakthroughs that are unimaginable. I would just like to hope that we don't wait for it to get that bad that we need to. I would like us to address it now so that we don't have to build anything like the Dutch boy system in our movie. Finally, you have, you, you've got Andy Garcia, you know, you, you have a really well-rounded supporting cast yeah. in a movie like this. Usually a good Hollywood disaster movie does get that. I mean, it's hard to get these guys all together. Well, I can only say I think we got really lucky, you know. Uh, um, you always have a wish list of people you'd like to get in your movie, and usually you can't get them, and then you got to figure out, well, who else yeah. can I get? And it, this was one of these situations where you know, they were like, um, we're going to offer it to Andy Garcia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? He's going to do it? <laughs> you know? And so it, it just kept happening. So we ended up with a truly remarkable cast who, you know, they're so talented and so experienced that they brought so much to the characters that were not, that wasn't written on the page. And I, I would literally be sitting at the monitors and I'd forget to say cut because I'm just watching and enjoying this movie that's happening in front of me. Oh, yeah, yeah, cut, cut. 